Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night two. As much respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes, there is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there, you've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled, he's so dangerous, he's so scary, and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the warrior. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. And there's Herb Dean. He will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consensus baddest man on the planet. Nice kick to the body. Oh, that body shot hurt him. What a beautiful jab landing there. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Oh, nice little right hook there. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Jab there by the champ. Oh, nice jab. Throws that deep and it lands. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. Oh! Edge of your seat action as expected thus far. What a fight. My goodness, what a fight. Left. That's a right hand. 
two shots there. Oh, that was a big shot, too. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to put that cross on to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Lands a jab. Oh, the high kick lands. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Oh, blood is dripping from his lip. Man. Big right hand. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Punch to the body is blocked. Two minutes to go in round one. Well, the one thing about throwing jabs is that when you throw a jab, you kind of set your, your, your lead leg because you're trying to extend on the jab. If a person has good timing on leg kicks, they will land almost every time. So you got to be careful. Put him up. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. you got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. He's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, big right hand, yes. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Final seconds of the round. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Horn sounds for the end of round stop, stop, stop. one. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So the fighter now with a cut on his lip. That is something he's going to have to deal with. You see the cut man not wasting any time getting in there. We'll see if he can shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for him moving forward. All right, let us now take a look back at some of the replays, Daniel, from that previous round. And he certainly has the hands and the feet going tonight as he caused a cut there in that previous round. A lot of times you can't even dream this stuff up where you fight this well. He has done everything right, and he opened up a massive cut over his opponent's eyes, and now you start to see the blood leak down into the eye, limiting, limiting his ability to try to slow him down. All right, we will see how much that bleeding has stopped as we get ready for this next round. He's got good leg kicks, there it is. Oh, straight punches there again. Oh, man. Uppercut lands. Now he switches stances. Wow, what a head kick. Checks the leg kicks. Oh, can't put any weight on him. It's a nice jab by him there. Nice connection there with the right. Beautiful. 
beautiful kick there. Oh, and that's a huge knee to the body. Oh, back and forth we go. Lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output. In his. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching for it. Whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Three minutes now to go in this one. Huge kick right there. Don't want to take too many more of those. Shuffle cut by the champion. Oh, he snaps off the jab yet again. Beautiful use of the jab, really. Start to finish tonight. Did it in the previous round. And pick it up right where he left off here. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Leg kick lands. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. That's a beautiful body kick. Big shot to the head. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Bleeding now. Nasty cut on his nose. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Look at that up again. Look at that tone. That is... Oh, man, this dude is good. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Head kick block. Is fossiting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. 20 seconds to go round two. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Seconds winding down in round two. Good run. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He's a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted... Oh, big knee! Oh, this could do it! 
Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Just misses with that round. Nasty high kick. Judges out of it. Bruce Buffer is here. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 31 seconds of round number three. We're playing the winner by TKO. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Don! All right, so a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the, the world. The baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon right now. Over and over, you see him get new belts. The UFC heavyweight champion remains the same.